Hey, what's up everyone? So I really haven't had time to uh, video much. I've been working on the uh, Catalina 30 and also been out of town for my day job. But I have done quite a bit of work here on the San Juan 24. So I've got most of the hardware on. Uh, I got the windows in, which that's gonna be uh, pretty interesting to show you. And uh, I've got some win my winches in. Uh, I think the next thing I'm going to work on is the cockpit covers and then the rudder. So I'll show you what I've been working on. So uh, I've got the winches in here. And you can see some of the hardware here. And here are the windows I was talking about. So these are uh, plexiglass windows. You've got four of them. And of course, that's the uh, original hatch. I've got all the tow rails on, or both of the tow rails on, and most of all the hardware. Just a little bit of stuff left to do. But these windows, I want to show you how I put those in. A lot of people will take and they will um, drill holes and put screws in these. Now, I don't like doing that. Uh, you can do it however you want, but Anytime you drill a hole in these, they will, uh, it's very likely that where that screw is will crack. So what I use is VHB tape. Uh, it's a 3M tape. I don't know if you can see it. It's so cold here, I can't open the doors all the way. But um, anyway, it's uh, 3M VHB. And this is a half inch two-sided tape. So you stick one side on the window and then when you stick it on the surface here, it sticks. You, it's very difficult to get off. It's just a permanent, permanent two-sided tape. And um, so after I stick that in place, what I'll do next is I'll take and uh, put tape around this all the way around and I will put a bead of black uh, Sikaflex around this, which they're, as is, they're watertight and no issues, but I'll put the Sikaflex around here and then remove the tape and leave a nice clean edge there. But that just gives a little better uh, weather protection. But to me, they look really nice. Uh, I would hate to put screws in that and uh, cause the cracking and other issues that could come up later. And, you know, these the pe plexiglass, I cut them myself, but there's companies where you can call and send them a template and they'll cut it for you and send it to you. Um, I route it over the edges with a router. But uh, anyway, I just bought uh, a piece of plexiglass, which is fairly inexpensive, and cut it out and then route it over the edges myself. Um, so if something happens, these are really easy to replace, inexpensive and easy to replace, much better than the old aluminum frame windows that came with the boat. Um, I'll show you some of the inside. I don't know if you can see it here. I hope you can. I don't have a light with me today, but, um, you can see the a little bit of the of the um, two-sided tape sticking out here and I finished these edges so that they were nice and smooth I will have to do some interior work but uh, 
a lot of people will take and um, they'll tape off about an inch around the edge of the window and then the then they'll paint this black so that um, you'll just have a real nice finish there with black paint and then of course the rest of the window would be uh, visible to see through but I didn't do that I don't you know it's just an extra step plus if you paint this and you have to make sure that the paint is not going to come off when you put the two-sided tape on here I was worried that the the paint that I put on there might come off and cause this to lose um, loosen up or cause a place for water to leak but either way that that's two-sided tape is in there it's not coming off you will have to pry that off um, which is fine you know I don't really want to I don't want to take it out <laughs> but uh, you can see the rail here tow rail and of course this is where my rear chain plates go there's three chain plates to go in here the light I've got to put in of course put these cockpit covers back on when I get those finished but anyway that's uh, pretty much it I uh, just wanted to give an update on what I'm doing it's really frozen out here and I just needed to warm up a little bit before I could work in here um, so hopefully in the next video I'll have the uh, those cockpit covers uh, ready to go and then start on the rudder so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.